Here is a practice test question 2 on projection of vectors. Determine the scalar and vector projection of vector A on B. Sketch the projection. So I'll leave this question for you to do. We've done a very similar one just now. So, but I'll take, I'll like take this moment to tell you something about it. And that is how to draw the projection from A to B which would, could be a vector projection or a scalar projection. So as we can see here that we want what? We want projection of A on vector B, right? This is what we want. Now, if I write like this, I'm saying vector projection. So that means the vector B, so let me extend this since the projection is going to come kind of here on this side. So let me extend this part of vector B, right? And then what I need to do is I need to drop a perpendicular from this point on this line. And that perpendicular is going to give me a point on the line. Let us see this. So this point on the line, let me call it N from O. So O N is my projection of A on B, right? So O N represents projection of vector A on vector B. Now, if I write O N as this, it becomes scalar projection. And if I write O N as this, it becomes vector projection. That is how they are related, right? And I'm leaving this to you, how to find the magnitude and direction of ON. And I'm just giving you a hint here. So what is vector A for us? Vector A is, you can read from the coordinate plane, is just 4, 2, right? So coordinates are 4 and 2 as a position vector. So 4, 2 is a vector A. And B is minus 4 and 1. So that is vector B. And now you can use the formulas, right, and get your answer. So for scalar projection, what is the formula? It is a dot product of these two, which is minus 4, 1. I should have written 4, 2 first, but dot product is commutative, so, so it is okay, right? Divided by if the projection is from A to B, then it's divided by the, the B magnitude, okay, magnitude of B. So which is square root of B is this vector, right, which is minus 4 square plus 1 square. So once you calculate this, you get scalar projection, right. And vector projection is the scalar projection times unit vector in the direction of B, right? So in this case, we can write vector projection as we have dot product of A and B in the numerator. So let me write this as A dot B in the numerator and B dot B in the denominator times, I should say times, is a scalar multiple of vector b vector b so that is the vector projection right so if you have to write in this form then it should be written as a is 4 2 so 4 2 dot minus 4 1 correct divided by minus 4 1 dot minus 4 1 scalar multiple of B, which is minus 4, 1. Correct? So that gives you the vector projection, right? So you can do your calculations and come up with the answer. So we will note, we will denote vector projection by this symbol and scalar projection by the same symbol with a magnitude. That becomes scalar projection, right? And that is how this question should be done. Thank you.